Hey everybody, Jay here, and you're watching Lily O'Reilly Reviews. Today we have a pretty cool little toy called the Tenga Egg. So, let's get to it. Okay, so today we have the Tenga Egg. Now, this toy is actually probably something that I would buy again. I'll put that right at the front because I didn't realize I'd like this as, that much. Now, this is the boxy. The boxy refers to the texture that's on the inside of the egg. This is a part of their 12 standard eggs. Um, they also have six others that are in the hard-boiled set. I know, right? The hard-boiled set is eggs that have a harder texture, a little bit more like firm, making it to where you'll have a much more textured feeling whenever you, uh, whenever you use it. Don't know if those will be for me, but it's fair to say that since I like this this much, I'm definitely going to try those out. Now, when you open it up, um, spoiler alert, I, you can definitely tell that I used it. <laughs> yeah, um, when you open it up, it's supposed to have the egg, and there's supposed to be a little holder right here on the inside where it would come with a little bit of a warranty, or not a warranty, a um, description and also the uh, materials for it, as well as it rolls up a little bag of their own lube. This is the Tenga lube, or Angate Egg Tenga Lubricant. Now, the only downside that I didn't like about this was the actual lube, mostly because it's glycerin based. And if you're having that much heat, if you add a lot of heat to it, sometimes it'll end up getting, or a lot of friction to it, it'll actually heat up a lot more. That's better. Um, so that's probably why the egg ended up being a little deformed. Because as far as I know, I've been told over and over again that this shouldn't have happened. Or at least they hadn't, no one else has seen this before. Um, because I've heard that you're able to flip them inside out, wash them, reuse them for weeks, maybe even months at a time. I don't know if this is going to last another use. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but if you want to go ahead and flip it inside out, you'll be able to see what the texture is, why it's called boxy. It has little boxed ridges on the inside going all the way up to the top. Pretty cool, right? And, as you can tell also, because of how thin and stretchy it is, you can actually already see my fingers. So it's very, very squish. Now, being that this is the first egg that I've tried before, I actually loved it. Mostly because it left me with a lot of control. Um, because of how heavily textured it was, it might have helped because of the lube. But I think a water-based lubricant would be a lot easier on this as far as heat, friction, and it might prolong the toy life a little bit. But I'm definitely going to be trying the other series. Is this my favorite so far? Yes, but that's only because I haven't tried the rest. I'm definitely going to go ahead and purchase the rest. Um, this one on the shelf was about $7, and it's absolutely worth it. Would I recommend it? Yes. Especially since uh, me having a little bit of a fear because of my penis being kind of picky, especially because of me being uncut, um, I always have to find toys that can accommodate to that, whether it be a little bit softer, a little bit um, easier as far as insertion, something like that. This worked wonders. So. Go ahead and put it back. I definitely recommend this. Well, as always, if you like the review, leave a thumbs up and take care. Bye.